Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This workout that we're gonna go over today, we're gonna go over some nice sweaty intervals to get our body nice and warm. We're gonna start uh, with some moving stretches to work on our mobility, to get ourselves loose so we can be explosive. And our focus today is gonna be working on our upper body strength, uh, mainly our front body, working through push-up variations, uh, try to build a nice strong chest, abs, hip flexors, and quads. Everything working together through our front of our body to make ourselves explosive. Um, and have a little fun while we do it. So we're gonna start getting warmed up, standing up with a bit of a squat and a bit of jump squats, uh, and then we're gonna work through a bit of shoulder and core mobility in the same set so we can get that nice feel for that strong push-up that we wanna have our core totally engaged. So let's move this coffee. I hope you guys are stretched. If not, pause, do a little stretch, and then we'll start. Alrighty, standing up, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna start with a squat holding about halfway. Now we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna raise our arms up over our head, feel that back supporting you, and we're gonna breathe out, bring our hands back down to normal. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out. After this, we're gonna do two jump squats, and then repeat, ready, jump squat, one, two, and repeat, ready, try to keep those feet nice and straight, breathe in, open up that chest, and breathe out back to the middle, and again, breathe in, and breathe out, jump squat, one, two, and one more time for set one, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and out, jump squat, one, two, and shake out those legs, awesome, down to push up position, hands on the floor, we're gonna work through five of these, just moving with our breath and keeping our arms totally locked, working our shoulders and our core here. So as we breathe in, we're gonna look up, bring our shoulders down. When we breathe out, we're gonna tuck everything up as tight as we can. Breathe out, tuck. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And out. I lied, we're doing one more time. Breathe in, and breathe out. Drop your knees to the floor, walk your hands out, and press that chest into the ground for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and relax. All right, standing back up, one more set, then we'll go into, go into a bit of a harder uh, set, working that mobility as well. So feet shoulder width apart, get down into that squat, breathe in, lift up, and breathe out, back down. Breathe in, breathe out. Jump squat, one, two, and again, oof, that was a heavy landing, ready, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Jump squat, one, two, and one more time. Ready, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, reach it back, and breathe out. Jump squat, one, two, and shake out those legs. Good, back down to the floor. We're doing this one more time. Breathing in, breathing out through our push-up position. Ready, up to the top, and breathe out. Drop the shoulders down. Breathe out, push them back up. Breathe in, breathe out. Two more times, breathe in and out. And breathe in, breathe out. And relax, good. All right, so we're gonna stretch a little differently before the next sequence. We're gonna lie down flat on our bellies with our arms out. And we're gonna do our scorpion. So I'm gonna take my leg, bring it over, open up that knee, try to reach through my hand. Take a breath, and over to the other side. One more time. And back over one more time. And relax. 
<sighs> Beautiful. All right, so the next one we're gonna be doing is totally on the floor. It's super important for us to remember uh, that we're gonna build our range of movement and our strength through our mobility slowly and try not to go too far, especially with the first set. These are things that are gonna build slowly over time and super important for us to keep our muscles active and move with our breath as we do it. So I'm gonna start kneeling on the floor. My toes will be untucked, so the top of my foot is totally on the floor. My feet are about, or my knees are about hips distance apart. And I'm starting with my glutes engaged, so my hips are forwards. And I'm gonna start by bringing my shoulders back. So four separate movements in this movement. Follow your breath, and let's do this one together. Ready, we're gonna breathe in, bring our shoulders back, bending at the knee a little bit if you can. Once you feel the stretch, you're gonna bring your hips down, and then wait there for me if you're there before me. Ready, breathe in, shoulders back. Breathe out, hips to heels. Breathe in, hips thrust. And breathe out back to the top. Two more of those, ready, breathe in. Breathe out. And in. And out. And one more time, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out back to the top. Good. After that, we're going to stretch our shoulders a little bit more, working with our core and our hips as well. So I want your hands pointed straight, if possible. If you have really tight wrists and shoulders, start turning them out a little bit, but try to keep them as straight as you can. There's going to be a little bend in our knees here, and we're going to breathe in and lift our hips up as high as we can and hold. Right? Lift up. Breathe in. Three, two, one, as we breathe out, engage your abs nice and strong, squeeze, and if you can, give a little lift. And bring your heels back to the floor two more times. Breathe in, stretch those shoulders, open your chest, breathe out, crunch the stomach, and lift if we can. One more time, ready, breathe in. And breathe out. And plop yourself back down. Get legs out straight. Breathe in. And give a little stretch forwards. Uh, hamstrings are the key for any type of movement. So make sure we focus on stretching those before we do anything, especially explosive, but any type of movement at all. Five, four, three, two, and up. All right, one more set. And then we're going to start moving faster. Ready? Feet, hips, or sorry, knees. Hips distance apart. Push those hips forwards. Try to find a little more depth with each movement. Hip is starting to feel more natural to us. Uh, but remember to take it as far as you can take it. Don't try to go further if it feels really, really stretchy. Ready, shoulders back. Breathe in, shoulders lean. Breathe out, hips to heels. Breathe in, hips thrust. And breathe out back to the top, that's it. Ready, breathe in, shoulders back. Breathe out, hips down. Breathe in, hips up, and breathe out back to the top. One more time, breathe in, shoulders back. Breathe out, hips down. Breathe in, hips up, and breathe out back to the top. Oof, that feels awesome on my quads. Ready, hands down, knees a little bit bent, heels on the floor, and drive those hips up and hold. Breathe in. Good, breathe out, engage your abs, pull back with the core, and lift if we can. Feet down to the floor, breathe in, lift. And breathe out, pull it back, lift if we can with the legs. One more time, ready, breathe in, push up. And breathe out, pull it back, give it a lift. And relax, good, open up those legs a little bit bigger. And let's reach over to one side. Take your time to find your breath. We're gonna get into our intervals now, working quickly. The first sequence is gonna be 40 seconds. The rest are gonna be 20 each. Ready, reaching over. Three, two, one, and relax. Uh -huh. I seem to have misplaced Misplaced my stopwatch, my lovely assistant. Thank you, there it is. My stopwatch is my assistant, it flies to me 
when I need it. All right, so we're gonna go through one sequence slowly to get the technique of each exercise down, and then we're gonna go through this three times, working explosively, uh, but making sure we keep control with our technique no matter what, no matter how fast we're going. We never wanna compromise our technique. So, starting with the first one, we're gonna do one on our legs, working a little bit of jumping, making those quads activate as hard as we can. We're gonna be explosive with our push-ups too, and that means a full body movement every time. So, starting with our legs. We're gonna have one leg up on the side. We're gonna do 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Laying on the outside leg, three lateral jumps. One, two, three. Now as I land, I'm gonna do number one slow step down, curtsy squat down and up. And then keep that inside leg tucked up. Let's do it again, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stick that landing, side jump. One, two, Three, slow, step behind, touch, pick it up, and then we'll repeat it again. So that's gonna be 40 seconds, a little bit longer because there's so much going on when we do it. After that, we're gonna come down to the floor. In a front plank position, our elbows will be underneath our shoulders. So a couple ways we can do this. First one, we're gonna step one hand at a time. Second one, we're gonna push with both of our hands, working with our breath. So, in our front plank, either we're gonna go step, step, or we're gonna go from here, breathe in, breathe out, push, hollow out those abs, and then breathe in, come back down to our elbows. So push, push, or elbows under shoulders, breathe in, breathe out, squeeze all the way up. After that, our hands come under our shoulders. We're gonna open, close our feet in a plank chop. One, two, three, and then we're just gonna do one push up before we do it again. Trying to find a nice rhythm with our movement, snapping through our hip flexors, our quads, keeping our core engaged, and our chest. Okay, after that, we're gonna work through some abs. Any type of front body workout needs to focus on that center. That is the key. So we're gonna start with our legs out straight. Make sure our, our hamstrings are quite stretched here. So find a nice forward fold, not too far. We're gonna pulse our leg raise up five times. One, two, three, four, Five, after that we're gonna lie back and pulse our crunch. One, two, three, four, five. And then come back down, do it again. Five pulses, five pulses with our shoulders, and then finish with a little bit more core, working on our rotation. So our legs are gonna be up. We're gonna do four twists. One, two, three, four. Our shoulders and uh, feet will come down, and then up, and then we'll do it again. Four twists, down and up. Okay, 20 seconds each, except the first one is 40, and then we'll take a 40 second break in between each set, going through that three times before we start working on some more strength and core exercises to finish up our workout. So, take some water, take a nice big breath, and let's get started. So I'm on my outside foot to start, the high knees, then the three jumps, and then the curtsy squat. Ready, and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, jump. One, two, three, step behind, and then up, and then again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, down, up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, down, up. One more. One, two, three. Down, perfect timing, 40 seconds, nice. And back down to the floor, ready, elbows down. We're going straight from exercise to exercise, under shoulders, and breathe in. Breathe out, push up. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. One more time. Bring the hands under the shoulders, ready, and Open, close. One, two, three. Push up. One, two, three. Push up. One, two, three. And down, up. One, two, three. Down, up. One more time. Two, three. Down and up. Good. Sitting on our butts. Starting with our legs out straight. Find a decent forward fold, a little bit of stretch, working with the resistance of your hamstrings. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Come down flat. One, 
two, three, four, five. Back down one more time each. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Back down. One, two, three, four, five. And sitting up into that V sit. Four twists and then down up. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four. Down. Up. 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 One more. One, two, three, four. Down. Up. And relax. Good. All right, let's take a 40 second break. Focusing on our breath. Take some water if we need, but remember not to take too much because we're gonna be moving again quite soon. We don't want to cramp up. We got 30 seconds left. <sighs> your breath is your tool. Let your breath charge your body and lower that heart rate so we can push again and keep that workout as high pace as possible. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Let's make our ways up. Try to find the same pace, if not a little quicker, but remember, don't compromise the technique. Ready, inside leg is up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jump. One, two, three. Curtsy squat down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. One, two, three. Curtsy squat down. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. One, two, three. Down. Up and one more. Two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, down and up. Nice. Shake it out. Back down to the floor. Elbows under shoulders. Ready and breathe out. Crunch. Breathe in. Look up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Then breathe in. Couple more. Hands under shoulders and let's jack it up. Ready? One, two, three, down, up. Two, three, down, up. One, two, three, down, up. One more time. Two, three, down, and up. Good. Sitting on your butt. Let's go the other way first. Legs up, ready, one, two, three, four, five, back to here, find that fold, flex those heels out, one, two, three, four, five, back down, one, two, three, four, five, back down to seated, and one, two, three, four, five, Oof, take a breath and let's finish it up. Ready, twist. One, two, three, four. Down, up. One, two, three, four. Down, up. One, two, three, four. Down, up. Two more. One, two, three, four. Down, up. Last one. One, two, three, four. Down, up. And relax. Beautiful, you guys. Two down, one more to go. 35 seconds. And so we start set three. Keep that breath coming even. Force your body to take that breath in as deep as you can. Control and let it out slow. 20 seconds left before set three. That's it. Get that water quick if we need. 10 more seconds to start. Let's stand up, get those legs moving a little bit. All right, ready. Standing on the outside leg. One more time. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Jump. One, two, three. Slow. Tuck it up and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Come down slow and up. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Jump. One, two, three, and again, down and up. One more time. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three.
three, down, and up, and shake it out, good, take a breath, back down to push-ups, or sorry, planks on our elbows, under shoulders, and begin, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and out. Five seconds. And switch it up, hands under shoulders, ready. Open, close, two, three, down, up. Open, close, two, three, up, two more. Three, and down, up, and sitting on your butts. All right, legs out straight. Now remember when we're doing any type of front body movement, we're gonna flex those heels, shorten up that front body for maximum contraction. Ready, one, two, three, four, five. Lie down flat. One, two, three, four, five. Back down to seated. One, two, three, Four, five, back down to lay down. One, two, three, four, five, back up into our B sit. All right, legs out, and let's go. Two, three, four, down, up. One, two, three, four, down, up. One, two, three, four, down, up. Almost there, you guys. Two, three, down, up. One more. And relax, beautiful. All right, let's take a few nice breaths. We'll take a couple minute break here. Get that body nice and relaxed after that movement. And we're gonna finish with one more circuit, working our upper body strength, specifically focusing on our chest, our core, and we're trying to be as explosive as we can with some of these movements. So if possible, we're gonna add a little jump into our push-ups for the last few sets here. All right, so as we break, just watch the screen. We're gonna go over the next movement. It's gonna be a few things going on. We're gonna start on our bellies and finish by walking our hands out, trying to work through our core and keep everything as tight as we can at the end of the movement. So we're lying down flat with our arms out. We're gonna start with the Superman. Lift elbows up and in, then reach again and then in. Now our hands are gonna come to the floor when it's time to push up. And if it's available to you guys, I want you to jump a little bit on your hands. If not, just try to push up as hard as we can to get to the top. And if you can, get those hands lift a little bit. Ready, push up. Then we're gonna do a strong push up, nice and slow, tight core, come down and up. Reach our hand under, push into your thigh, back down, other hand, push into your thigh, back down. And we're gonna finish by walking our hands out, controlling our core as much as we can until we come down to the floor with our bellies. We're gonna do three of those and then work one different push-up variation to work on our shoulder mobility and our chest again. So, onward, let's go. Arms out, take a breath, and breathe in, arms up, elbows back, legs up. Breathe out, back to reach, breathe in, do it again. Now as we push up, either jump or just be expl as explosive as you can. Ready, push. And now a nice strong push up, breathe in. Breathe out, tuck up that core strong. <sighs> Reach one hand under, push into your thigh. And then back the other side, push into it, make a handprint into your leg. Hands to the floor, walk them out, and out, and out. Find a little pause, and back down. Good, we're gonna do two more of those. Ready, and breathe in, arms up, elbows back. Breathe out, breathe in. Explosive push-up, jump. Strong push-up, breathe in on the way down. Strong legs, strong core, chest and arms. Breathe out, push. <sighs> Reach under and across, one. And down, ready, two. And down, and walk those hands out and out, supporting with your core, with your chest, with your legs, and slowly down. One more time, ready. Breathe in, elbows back, 
and out, and again. Strong push up, ready, pop. Slow push up, control on the way down, strong legs. And up, reach under one, and back under two, and back, walk those hands out, and out, and out, and down, beautiful. Good, before we take a break, we're gonna work on a wide grip push up, and we're gonna try to focus on coming down on one side at a time to really stretch out those shoulders. So start from your knees for this one, if we haven't done it before, make sure we're getting that nice mobility, more important than doing it from our feet. So, we're gonna go side to side here. As I go to my right, I'm gonna look to my left. And up, and the other side. Up, down, up, down. Up, one more each side, down. Up, down, and up, and relax. Good, we're gonna take a nice minute break in between the last two sets here. So try to control that breath. We wanna be fresh for these movements to make sure we can squeeze that entire body as hard as we can. Now a super important factor when we're talking about strong push-up uh, form and technique is our legs. Sometimes we forget about squeezing those quads as hard as we can. So try to focus on pushing your knees up into your leg to make those quads lock out, especially on those slow control push-ups. So we stay nice and straight the whole time. All right, let's get ready for set two. Light on flat, arms out, legs out, starting with the Superman, ready. Breathe in, lift, breathe in some more, pull. Breathe out, back to long, breathe in, pull again. Ready, and pop. And nice and slow, squeeze those knees up, come down. Strong stomach, come up. Reach one hand under. And back, other hand under, and back. Walk those hands out nice and slow, pushing down into the floor and not forwards onto your shoulders. And down, good, two more times. Ready, breathe in, and in. Breathe out, reach, breathe in, pull again. And pop that push up, ready, pop. And now come down slow. <sighs> reach under one. And back, push your hand into your thigh, two, and back, and walk those hands out. That's it, nice control, and down slow. One more time, ready, lift, elbows in, breathe in, and reach, breathe in, two, hands to the floor, pop. Squeeze those legs strong, push up, down, and up. Reach under, one, back, two, and back, and walk those hands out. Fight it right to the floor, and shake it out. All right, wide grip push up side to side. Three per side here, keep those hands turned out. Ready, and bring your shoulder down to one side. Look away, and up. Other side, up. First side, up. Second side, up. One more time, down. Up, down, up, and relax. Good, all right, we got one more set. One minute break. <sighs> Let's use our tool, our breath, to control our body. Huh. Maybe in the comments, you guys can write which sequence you like the most, the intervals, or these slow, squeezy push-ups. I love uh, hearing your feedback, and there's always a debate over which part we like more that slow, steady, squeezy control movement. We're getting that nice sweat, heart rate up with the intervals too. So let me know and then we can tailor some workouts for you guys. Ready, lie down flat. Let's finish it up. They are both important though, so we need to do both. Ready, breathe in, lift, breathe in, pull. Breathe out, back to long, breathe in again. Let's see that pop, ready and push up, pop. Push up strong, squeeze your quads up, come down slow, aim for your chin first, and up. Reach under one, and back two, and back, walk those hands out, and out, and out, slowly, elbows and core to the floor. Good, two more times, breathe in, and pull, look up. 
Breathe out, reach, breathe in, two. Hands to the floor, push up, pop. And strong push up, down, slow. And up, strong core, ready, under, one. And back, two. And back, walk those hands out, almost there, you guys. Elbows and core to the floor. One more time, ready, breathe in and pull. Breathe out, reach, breathe in, two, ready, pop that push up, up and to the top. Nice strong push up, last one, down. <sighs> breathe out, reach under and back, other side and back. Last walk out with the hands, make it strong, control. Almost there, and down, beautiful. All right, let's finish up with our side to sides. Now that we're all done for today. Shake out those arms. Oof. All right, ready. Wide grip, and down to the side. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, back two more, down. One, down two and relax nice you guys did it i hope that felt as awesome for you as it did for me as uh, super important when we're talking about making our push-ups stronger that we focus on everything through that front body making our core our hip flexors our quads our shoulders and then our chest as strong uh, as we can so they can all work together and keep our body nice and even but beyond that if we want to have a nice, balanced, explosive body, we need to make sure that the other parts of our body are also working just as hard, whether they're going to be stretching or contracting. So it's really all about balance, and every movement we do can be a total body movement as well. That way our bodies will always develop in a way that's going to keep us injury free and keep us moving as efficiently as we would like to. So if you guys like that, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and remember I want to hear your feedback, which part of the workout did you guys like the most? Um, yeah, so let me know. Miss you guys. Have some fun. I'll see